The job of a transportation security officer is both challenging and rewarding. But the unique application process to become a TSO can be complicated and confusing and may take up to several months to complete. For information on how to apply for a transportation security officer position, simply go to tsajobs.tsa.dhs.gov. Once there, you'll see information on careers with TSA, as well as a guide on how to apply. To actually start the application process, you'll be redirected to usajobs.gov to search for transportation security officer positions. There needs to be a hiring need at an airport in order for you to apply. After creating a USA Jobs account, you'll be able to apply. Once you're logged in, you'll go to the TSA application site. One of the first things we need to know is if you are eligible to be a TSO. Eligible candidates must be at least 18 years old at the time of the application, a U.S. citizen, have a high school diploma, GED, or equivalent certificate, and if you're a male born after December 31, 1959, you must be registered with the Selective Service System. After you've established that you are eligible, you'll be able to register for TSA's Candidate Dashboard. The Candidate Dashboard is a great way to keep up with the process and progress of your application. Next, you may be invited to schedule a computer-based test, or CBT, which is dependent on specific airport hiring needs. This portion of the application process will take about two and a half hours to complete and provides TSA with additional information regarding your competence for the TSO role. The CBT includes an English proficiency test and an image interpretation test. CBT testing must be completed at a test center. Applicants who have received an invitation to test can schedule CBT testing at any location TSA has to offer across the country. You may choose a location that is most convenient for you. After you complete the CBT, you'll get an email within a few minutes letting you know how you did. If you pass, you'll be offered a contingent offer of employment, but there are still a few more requirements before you're eligible to be hired. Next, you'll have to submit standard authorization forms that allow for the release of information and for TSA to run a credit check on you. You have to submit these forms within 14 days of passing the CBT, or else your application will become inactive. The next form is called an E86, which is the National Security Questionnaire. Remember, TSA is an anti-terrorism organization entrusted with keeping the traveling public safe, so we take this very seriously. The E86 form can take a while to complete, and may require you to gather personal information you do not have readily available, such as information about past addresses, jobs, and even information on your family and friends. After you submit your authorization forms, you may be contacted by an airport to schedule an airport assessment, which is the next phase of the TSO hiring process. This assessment includes a structured interview, a color vision test, and fingerprinting. You'll also receive more detailed information about the TSO position at that airport, such as dress and appearance standards, shift schedules, even parking and transportation options. This is a good opportunity for you to really learn about the job and to make sure it's still a good fit for you. At this point, you're getting closer to the finish line, but not quite there yet. You also have to pass a medical evaluation and drug test. During this whole process, be sure to monitor your email and your candidate dashboard page. If TSA needs more information or has follow-up questions, or if you didn't complete something quite right, that's how we'll let you know. Once all the tests have been passed and the background check has been successfully completed, you'll be added to a list of people ready to be hired. Your eligibility to receive a final job offer will remain valid for one year. Your airport will extend the final job offer, 
and schedule your entry on duty date based upon their current hiring needs and the training schedule. New hire training typically occurs in Glencoe, Georgia at the TSA Academy. The airport extending you a job offer will have further details about your specific training. Accept the job offer and you're off to a great career with the Transportation Security Administration. Helping to protect our nation's skies and keep America safe. Visit tsajobs.tsa.dhs.gov to learn more and apply today at www.usajobs.gov.